Kentucky Senator Rand Paul was busy this morning on the Senate floor slamming his fellow Republicans over backing the short-term spending bill, which includes money for Planned Parenthood. What is a continuing resolution? It is a steaming pile of the same old, same old. If we had the courage, we could use the Senate's supermajority rules to stop wasteful spending. If we had the courage, we could force the other side to come up with 60 votes to fund things like Planned Parenthood. And joining me now, presidential candidate and Kentucky Senator Rand Paul. So, Senator, you called voting for this continuing resolution to keep the government open this week a steaming pile of the same old, same old. Was anybody I think, listening? I think that's a pretty accurate description. The reason I say that is, is that we borrow a million dollars a minute. So if you continue more of the same, no reform will happen to spending. And I went on to list several programs that are just outrageous. But you know what? If we let the spending expire, to restart the spending would then take 60 votes or a supermajority. So instead of saying, oh, we don't have 60 votes to defund things, the other side would have the onus of trying to get 60 votes to fund Planned Parenthood right. or any well, of a host of other it, wasteful it, programs. It's an interesting way to look at it, you know, in the opposite direction. Are, are you asking, since John Boehner has stepped down and was thought of as the establishment, are you asking Senator Mitch McConnell to also step down? What I'm trying to do is influence the debate in our country by saying, you know what, why don't we let all spending expire and why don't we make them start over because what we're doing is not working. What we're doing is adding a mountain of debt to our country. So you don't have an, opinion on, you don't have an opinion on Mitch McConnell then? This isn't about an individual. It isn't about any one person. It's about the government going bankrupt. It's about a country going bankrupt. It's more important than making this about a personal battle. What it is about is there are hundreds and hundreds of regulations that President Obama has passed. I would defund all of them. Okay, let's there take are a hundreds look. and hundreds of programs. I would defund let, those let's take a look and at, let them at expire. How, let's take a look, though, at how the American people feel about this. I don't know if that's relevant or not in your mind and what happened today, but the fight over Planned Parenthood 61% oppose defunding, but it's a little different when you look at Republicans. 55% want to defund it versus 40 who are opposed to doing that. But 9% of Americans support shutting down the government over this issue. Only 9%. I'm not arguing in favor of shutting down the government. What I'm arguing in favor of is letting the spending expire. It could expire for a minute. And then in the second minute, you could reappropriate the money in the normal fashion. Okay. See, we're supposed to appropriate money in 12 different bills. These are all glommed together on one bill, and there's no reform. So what I'm asking for is that we reform spending, and we don't keep doing more of the same, because the status quo is bankrupting America. Yeah, it seems like we talk about the continuing resolution every time we get to this point. I want to move on to this. President Obama and Russian President Putin, as we all know, they met face-to-face -face yesterday in New York, 90 minutes with no real breakthroughs. So, Senator Paul, what's the real story in your mind of what that meeting was all about and what it accomplished? Well, I think we need to continue to have discussion with our adversaries, even when they're acting in a bad way. And I've objected to Russia, what they've been doing in Ukraine, but we still should have discussions. And this was a big distinction in the debate between myself and Carly Fiorina, who said she would have no more discussions with Putin. I think that's a very adolescent sort of approach. And I do think that throughout the Cold War, one of the remarkable traits of Ronald Reagan is that he stood firm, he negotiated from a position of strength, but he did continue to talk to the Russians as well as the Chinese. Okay. And I think diplomacy and engagement is really important. Well, well, speaking about your presidential campaign, I know that you are attending fundraisers in D.C. for your Senate reelection campaign this week. And there's an article out today that says that that means you may be dropping out of the presidential race. <laughs> is there any truth to that? <laughs> no, and in fact, uh, I am running for Senate concurrently, but I've been raising money for my Senate race for the past two years, so this is nothing new. It's just someone's attempt to try to uh, color uh, the story in a way that's not accurate. We're in it to win it. We're in it for the long haul. We're organizing in all 50 states for the presidency. We have 350 college groups that are started in different colleges across America. Okay. So, no, we are in it to win it. And I know that you filed, a, made the payment in South Carolina today. So, Senator Paul, yes. thanks for giving us the real story. Take care. Thank you.